Oh, good to see you, Kiryu. Are you set? I'd like to take you somewhere. I assume you're ready to go? Hmm. I'm prepared. All right. Our guest this time came all the way from Kyushu. Chief Nakajima of Nagasu Taxi. Chief Nakajima. He looked after you during your stint as a cab driver back in Fukuoka, didn't he? Hey, what's up? You remember him, right? Don't tell me I wasted my time calling him here. You didn't. Besides, I wouldn't be that ungrateful. It's just... I never thought I'd see him again. Chief Nakajima was about the only civilian I spent a lot of time with. You tried running from your past back then, too, didn't you? Even went by the alias Taichi Suzuki and everything. Trouble always finds you somehow. In the past and even now. You said you called a chief here? How was he? He must be getting along in years now. Did he seem well? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you go see for yourself? What? Did something bad happen to him? Hmm. Oh, good heavens, I can't drink that much. <laughs> well, ain't this a pickle? Oh, come on, Mr. Chief, don't be shy. Today's a special treat, isn't it? Well, you ain't wrong there. <laughs> Speaking of which, Date-san's not here yet. W I wonder what's taking him. This ain't a scam, right? You're not gonna rip me off. Don't worry! Date-san gave me a rundown. That man's a real detective, you know. Date-san, what was with that ominous look earlier? <laughs> well, as you can see, he's doing great. Figured it'd make you appreciate the reunion more. Cab company's not exactly doing well. But the Chief does everything he can to keep it going. That's great. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Thought so. Wait. Date-san, you've never met Chief Nakajima before, right? How did you even get him to come all the way here? Well, I might have abused a bit of my police authority. Told him that I wanted to ask him about his former employee, Taichi Suzuki. What? Also told him it was a personal investigation and that we couldn't talk over the phone since the higher-ups don't know about it. I asked if he could come to Yokohama instead. You do know how suspicious that sounds, right? I'm surprised the chief fell for that. I offered to cover his travel expenses, so it's basically a paid vacation. His drinks at this club are even on me. Oh, don't give me that look, man. What? I was just worried about you. You're always coming up with all these lies for me. I thought I told you this before. I'm only doing all this because I want to. Don't sweat it. Ten years ago, he told me himself to come back and work for him again, no matter what. He gave me a hand when I hit rock bottom, and I was never able to thank him for that. Got it. Guess it'll be on me to tell him all of that. <laughs> this place sure is a riot. Hey. Maybe I ought to move to Yokohama myself. Wow, would you really? Then you could come visit me every day. I'll be here waiting. <laughs> Boy, I do that and I'll be broke in no time. Oh. Pleasure meeting you, Chief Nakajima. I'm Date. You been enjoying yourself? Oh, gosh darn it, I'm sorry. Got a little carried away there. Nearly forgot I was meeting up with you, Mr. Detective. No need for the formalities. Thanks for coming all the way here. Mind if I take a seat? Oh, no, not at all. Please do. Still, to think Suzuki-san's name would come up again. But like I told you on the phone, the last I saw Suzuki-san was ten years ago. How's that even gonna help the police? Well... Truth be told, I knew Suzuki personally outside my work as a detective. Honestly, I just wanted to have a drink with someone else who knew him. Sorry for making a fuss out of this, Chief. 
Oh, no, no, it's fine. You even paid for me to travel here at all. Besides, I feel the same way about Suzuki-san. Wasn't one for words, but I could never forget him. Just that kind of fella, you know. So what happened? Did Suzuki-san cause some kind of incident? He ain't getting arrested, is he? Huh? No, I'm not going to arrest him. See, Suzuki's been dead for a few years now. Huh? Come again? You ain't pulling my leg or nothing. You didn't know? No, not at all. I had no clue. So that's what happened to Suzuki-san? I can't believe my ears. He was always so serious, a real dedicated fella. Hey, something doesn't seem to be adding up here. Just double checking. You were aware that Taiji Suzuki was a fake name, right? A fake name? Nah, ain't no way. That doesn't sound right, no siree. Uh-huh. Okay, then. Why don't you settle down and hear me out? Taichi Suzuki was a fake name. His real name was Kazuma Kiryu, a Yakuza from the Tojo clan, known as the Dragon of Dojima. You're talking about the same Suzuki-san? Ah, that's gotta be a lie. Some big mistake. You ever consider that the Suzuki-san I know and the Suzuki-san you know are two different people? Fine, then. So that's how you want to play. Then explain this. Take a good look at this photo. This guy looks real familiar, doesn't he? Perhaps you've seen this on TV before. You're looking at Kazuma Kiryu. Shortly after this footage aired, he was sent to prison, then lost his life in Hiroshima. Frankly, that don't sound like the Suzuki-san I know. What, really? Guess I should have looked into your story more carefully before coming all the way out here. If I had known we were talking about two different people, I wouldn't have let you pay for my whole trip. Now hold on, sir. What's with the act? Huh? We both know for a fact that Kiryu went by Suzuki in Kyushu. So why are you pretending you don't know him? Well, I ain't pretending. There was just a little mix-up. Sorry, my mistake. I'll even pay for my own drinks, too. Take care now! No, wait. Please. I think we're done here. Size, I ought to get going. <laughs> Let go! What has gotten into you? Nothing. You're just being a bother. Wait, please. Hey, stop right there, sir. Ooh, what's going on? Why all the yelling? Judging by the way you wanted to run from me, I think I get what's going on. Huh? What about? You probably did come here to talk about Taichi Suzuki, and maybe squeeze in some sightseeing on the side. But with how you're acting, I'm guessing you saw this recently. Oh, that's, uh... Your plans changed when this video started going around. Suddenly, rumors that Kazuma Kiryu is still alive and kicking spread all over the internet, despite his supposed death. Word got to you too, didn't it? Right after you agreed to meet with me here. I don't know a thing about that. What's going on? If Kazuma Kiryu really is alive and in hiding, then you wouldn't want to tip off the police. Even a minor detail about his past runs the risk of endangering him. Long story short, you don't want to sell your friend out to the police. But after coming all the way to Yokohama, it looked just as suspicious to cancel our meeting. Uh... It all makes sense now. That's why you're trying to act like you don't know Kazuma Kiryu. You got the wrong idea. That's completely off. Where you're coming from, you probably aren't too sure if I really am Kiryu's friend. In that case, It'd be best for you to say I've got the wrong guy. Keep mum and leave your seat. Uh, uh, 
Chief Nakajima, this has all been one huge misunderstanding. Huh? Neither Tokyo PD nor the Fukuoka police knew that Kiryu had been employed at Nagasu Taxi. Have you ever gotten a call from the police asking after him? I'm positive you haven't, because I'm the only one who knows about your connection to Kiryu. After all, I heard all of this from the man himself. In fact, he even told me about the first time you two met. He helped out a woman who was being harassed, but let himself get beat up in the process. At the time, he had nowhere to go since he had to cover up his history with the Akaza. He nearly gave up on life. That's when you entered the picture. You took him on and hired him as a taxi driver. That guy's known as the legendary Yakuza. You think he'd crack in the interrogation room? I heard all of this straight from the horse's mouth. I may not know what's going on in his head, but I consider him my best friend. Date-san. Well, that sure explains a whole lot. Guess it can't hurt to trust you then. <laughs> How about we turn back the clock? Start fresh, take it from the top. <laughs> Works for me. I found out that Suzuki-san was actually Kazuma Kiryu from the news. Saw him in that Yakuza scuffle up in Kamurocho. Must have been a little while after he left our place. All his old co-workers were pretty shaken up, me included. Sure, I knew he was no run-of-the-mill guy, but I never thought he'd be THE legendary Yakuza. Also, just between us, a lot of my employees are hiding scars because of something or other in the past. Same goes for me, too, so I was never ever gonna rat out Kiryu-san to the police. But the moment I told myself that, news got out about Kazuma Kiryu dying somewhere in Hiroshima. That must have been shocking. Of course it was. But now, what the heck even was that video? I can't make heads or tails of nothing no more. You know something, don't you, Date-san? Is Kazuma Kiryu... Is Suzuki-san still alive? Please, Date-san. Well, I guess it wouldn't be right if I just lied to your face after unraveling all that, so... I'm just gonna say, no comment. No comment? <laughs> That's not enough for you? <laughs> That's great. Real great. Just what I needed to hear. You know, you're a lot like Suzuki-san. No tact, no skill of lying, and a good man. This coming from you, you're just as bad at lying. <laughs> you got me there. After getting to know you, Chief, I think I get why he wanted me to pass on a message. Huh? When the two of you first met, he had just drifted all the way to Kyushu in order to protect his loved ones from his own past. That was the lowest point in Kiryu's life, in a place with no one he knew, with no one to turn to, with no one to talk to or depend on, until you showed up and lent him the hand he needed. Mm-hmm. Words can't describe how indebted he feels to you. Still does, to this day. Ha, ah, that's so. And I got something to say to him, too. And what's that? The last time I saw Suzuki-san, I left him with these words. You're part of the family now, Suzuki-san. Just be sure to come back to us, no matter what. Hmm. I still stand by those words today. So if you ever find yourself in trouble, you'll always have a home with us. I'll be waiting for you back in Kyushu. So just remember, you're never alone. Think you could tell him all that for me, Date-san? Ah. <laughs> Thanks again, Date-san. Got to wrap up some unfinished business there. Now the Chief finally knows how much I appreciated him, there's nothing more I can do now. Come on, don't be like that. 
Oh, right, that reminds me. You said I was your best friend? No, I, I mean, I was just trying to, well, you know, earn the Chief's trust. I had to. Your words really cut me to the core. They were comforting in a way, especially in these times. Could you not take back what you said? Yeah, of course. Hey, you want to hug it out? I'm not drunk enough for that. Yeah, figured. 